the BSB headquarters in South West London. My name is William Hamarch, my director. Today we're here to judge Dream Car Competition Week 2, which ran from January the 8th to January the 14th. Before we do that, I'd like to say congratulations to last week's winner, Thomas Gunning, who won the fantastic Jaguar XCS plus £20,000, and you can see <coughs> surprising him both on our YouTube channel and on our website. I'd now like to introduce Ollie Marcus from One Side Law, who will be overseeing the judging today. Thank you. My name is Ollie Marcus from One Side Law, and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditors, Wilkins Kennedy. I'd now like to introduce today's judges and ask them to pick a car out of the bag to determine their seating position. First judge is Gareth Deneen. Good morning, Alpine. Good morning, my name is Gareth Deneen. I'm a senior county referee and I'm still appointing referees to various competitions throughout the London area. And I have yellow. Next judge is Hugh Gilroy. Hi, my name's Hugh Gilroy. I'm a referee, mentor, tutor, and active observer. Thank you. Green. Alan Gomar. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, my name is Alan Gomar. I'm an ex-professional footballer. I played for Paris Saint-Germain, Newcastle, and Fulham. Blue. Ari Mendon. Morning, Ollie. Hi. Morning, my name is Aaron Jonka. I've been involved in football for over 30 years, firstly as a player, then as a referee. Purple. Peter Georgi. Good morning. Good morning, my name is Peter Georgi. I'm an AFA football and talks to referee, mentor, tutor, and observer. What? Leo Donnellan. Morning, Ollie. Hello, my name is Leo Donnellan. I'm an ex-professional football player, having played with Chelsea, Fulham and Leighton Orr. Red. Red. Matt Cannon. Hi, Ollie. Hello, my name is Matt Cannon. I'm a football referee and a footballer. Orange. Uh, okay, judges, please mark on the screen where you think the centre of the ball should be. I'll then, I'll ask you to do this individually for a few minutes before justifying your position. I'll then ask you to come to a panel decision on the main screen. Alan, if you could just justify your blue cross there. Yeah, uh, so my cross is the blue one. Um, I think the, the player in blue uh, is about to head the ball. Um, looks like he's stretching and the ball is slightly on this right hand side. Um, looking at his eyes, uh, I think he's looking, uh, you know, he's showing, you know, uh, the point slightly on the right hand side on the picture above his, uh, above his eyes. Um, the, the ball, I think, is coming quite high. Um, and looking at, you know, the, the eye line of this player, um, I think, you know, it's towards, you know, this direction. Um, and that's why I put my cross like this. Uh, Leo, if you could talk me through your crosser. Yeah, on the red cross. If you look at the, the player in blue, I believe is going to head this ball. Um, he's at pretty much at the top of his jump. Um, like Elaine said, he's, uh, he's, he's tilted, so he's kind of stretching for the ball to his right-hand side. That's why, I, if you look at his eye line, uh, I believe I've, I've put it there because I feel he's still going to move a little bit um, to his right before he actually heads the ball. So I believe he's going to sort of move that way and the ball's going to come. He's going to head it. If you look at this player, I think he's looking very steeply, so that's why I decided to go a bit higher than most of my colleagues. Gareth, if you could talk me through the cross then. Certainly. Uh, the yellow cross, which is sort of hidden behind the blue and the white. Uh, agree with Anna and uh, Leo that the player in blue has got to head the ball. I think the ball's coming in from this direction, so it's in the foreground. Uh, he's slightly in the background. Both players looking directly at the ball, so we've got four eyes to work with. I think it's to the, uh, to the right of the, uh, the player in the blue shirt, so cross-referencing, I've put my cross there. Thank you. If you could justify your cross, please. Yeah, so mine's the green. Um, as my colleagues have said, I think the player in blue is the one who's going to play the ball. Um, I think he's looking kind of straight up, just to the right from where he is. Um, I've looked at the player in yellow's eyes, and I think he's on looking um, reasonably steeply. I do think it's going to come down towards him, maybe flick it on. Um, so I think it's quite close to him, but just above him, to his right, very slightly. 
from that, if you could talk me through your cross, please. Yeah, it's fine to yeah. cross. I'm just above the, uh, the cluster of the four colleagues below. Um, I do think this guy's at the top of his jump. I think he's, he, he might have overcooked his jump, and he may just be flicking the ball on. The player in yellow is on looking, um, and I've cross-referenced the eyes, and I've put the orange cross where I have. Ari, if you could justify your cross, please. Yeah, it's my cross is the purple one, and the, the IS one over here. Um, I felt that the player in, in, in blue is, is definitely is the one who's going to have this ball. He's, uh, he's an, on the rise. I think he's trying to adjust his body to, to have the, the, the ball the best way he can. Um, player in, in, um, in yellow, I, feel, I felt that he, he lost the momentum, but he's really focused. And the reason that, that I played there, when I crossed reference with both high lines, I felt that the player in yellow is looking slightly higher. That's why I, I placed it there. Finally, Peter, if you could justify your cross, please. Yes, mine is the, uh, the white one. Uh, like my colleagues, the guy in blue is the active player on his way out, um, almost at the top of his jump. And uh, when I position uh, the white cross, is in reference to his eyes, looking to, uh, up but slightly over to my right. And again, I've cross referenced it with the yellow player, and I've gone slightly, probably the lowest of all of them. Because I do believe that's um, the angle of his of his head is, I think it's much better lower than higher. So that's where I cross reference to you. Right, so cross. Uh, judges, please come to a panel decision on the central screen. Nice the average. Anything that's above, just slightly above. That's four who have busted to the right of the orange. Should we do a diagonal line from, from that guy? So I think the average there goes just above his thumb. Something like that, so. Okay, above his thumb. Yeah. Not quite as super as I think it's there. Mm. Yeah. Not there. Maybe a little lower. Yeah, just start with that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That one is yeah. That takes us through. Just below the orange and above the. Uh, just Let's look at the eyes on these, this guy. <coughs> Let's see where his eyes are. Is he looking direct? To that, that, his left eye. It's pretty steeply upwards, isn't it? I'm going to go from the centre there. <coughs> well, I go from, go from his eye because he's looking directly. Well, well, we do the one from each line, shall we? Yeah. Ten Yeah. Right. Well, the only thing about doing from each eye, you're not getting the average of the ball, but you have to go from centre. Right, it's not centre, but yeah, if you do both eyes, you're going to get a, a, a definite yeah. point as opposed to a, a, an average, I would suggest. I've got to see which way he's getting his. Yeah. He's, got, he's, he's looking with his eyes, so I've got to check with his eyes, where his eyes, the direction of his eyes, which is, that's not a bad angle to me. He's, looks, he's looking slightly to his right, but. So, height wise, I think you want to be above this white thing that's in the background, so that's generally alright. So the other ones are too far down, but it's put yeah. it there. Yeah. There it is. And that's slightly right. right.
The two that one Yeah. Because it's on, it's on, on the, the top of the shadow. Yeah. You know like what the end of my quarter is. Yeah. Mm. Let's move it, let's put it across it and we'll see yeah. what it looks like in the centre of that one. Centre of that one? Mm. Yeah, there. <coughs> that to me is a bit straight. I think he's looking over towards it, more towards his right. Average wise, yeah. it should be above his, his left eye and nose. Yeah. So that cuts through all of us and keeps Leo on the left, Harry on the right. And the height's good, isn't it? Right, right, so we set that shadow. Well, if Barry, you're the one who's going to come down, so... Yeah, I'll, I'll go over the also probably <coughs> Matt Todd, I think it's... ...would best represent the average over there. I think that's an average, it's good. We've got, that mm -hmm. we've got four, we've got four below, mm -hmm. and then that. Yeah, and you, and two up, uh, yeah. The two quite the way up, you know, relatively speaking. So what you have to do around, maybe? I don't think you want to come around. I think that's good. Because that one cuts through. Okay. Happy? Yeah. Okay. So that'll be nice. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, pop the light here. So the coordinates selected are X775 and Y762. Uh, these coordinates will now be pa passed to Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the winner of the competition and they will inform BOTB. That concludes the judging process. Thank you.